The Age of Man is over. The Age of the Ring has come. Today we're gonna start with the campaign for the Age of the Ring mod for BFME 2 The Rise of the Witch King in solo play The Lord of the Rings. And difficulty? Of course the hardest one. Let's get it started. As the ring is rolling, we are loading into the game. And I hope you guys can enjoy your stays. If you do, please don't forget to leave a like on this video. And let me know in the comment section down below if you wanna see more Age of the Ring content in the future. Let's do this. The last alliance between men and elves. Quickly, men. Quickly, men. Holy moly. So we have Donadine soldiers, we have uh, Donadine archers, we have also Linden spearman units as well as Linden warriors. Alright. And we have also, of course, Elrond himself or Agent Smith <laughs> from Matrix. As well as Isildur, the King of Gondor, who is the only person who was able to defeat Sauron with the sword of his daddy, Elendil. Alright, let's defeat these towers, destroy these towers real quick, very important. They are dealing damage to our units and heroes over time. And our goal is simple, destroy the orc camp and establish a base, okay? That's what we're gonna do. Archers behind, soldiers forward, in the front. And we want to use always the battle stance, normal battle stance with the units or hold ground stance which, with the units which are tanking the damage. This way they're going to become tankier. And with archers in the behind, we want to use the aggressive stance. This way they're going to deal more damage, okay? Okay, beautiful. Let's keep moving forward. Don't fall behind. Alright. Oh, we have even more towers to destroy now. Very important. We can actually use Elrond. To destroy this one, he's tanking the damage we can use in those kind of situations always to hold ground stance. That's gonna make them tank you. You see that? Heroes and monsters gain 10% more armor, but they lose 20% uh, damage. That's absolutely fine. Kill the tower first. We are tanking so much damage. We need to make sure to not lose our heroes. If we do, we're gonna lose the game. I believe. So let's not risk the biscuits and let's make sure that Elrond, aka Agent Smith, is able to survive. Destroy the Mordor camp! Destroy the Mordor camps. We got you. We got you. Okay. So we gotta be careful with Elronto. He's taking way too much damage for no reason. Uh, let's put him behind a little bit more. And then we can move forward now. So he can heal up over time, you know? With all ground stands. Okay. So let's move forward. Let's destroy the orc camps, shall we? Oh. Ours. More towers. Let's target the units with the archers. And with the swordman, we're gonna try to kill the tower as soon as possible. Uh, Elendil, I mean, sorry, Isildur is already level 2, as well as Elrond. There's also leadership now. As well as the King of Gondor. The heir of Numenor. Okay. Let's move forward. Don't fall behind. Can we destroy these things? No, we can't. But we can kill those orcs. That's, what, that's something we can do. Put Elrond a little bit more behind. This way he's gonna give leadership to the backline. And he's quite badly damaged. And we have now enough power points for stuff. So we have height. Uh, friendly units within the mist become stealthed. Uh, I think that's something like the enshrouding mist from the Elven faction in Rise of the Witch King. Then we have Elven gifts. Heroes gain 50% more damage. We have heal. And we have also Rallying Horn, which is something like Rallying Call. Okay? But we're gonna pick up the Elven gifts to make our heroes stronger in this one. Level 3. Elrond is giving leadership. Now we can switch to the aggressive stance and make him fight as well. Let's kill the orcs first. This way we can afterwards kill this tower right now. Okay? We can also destroy these camps. I mean, there is only one camp. Two camps actually, I can see. Okay? And every time we destroy these camps, we are also getting money. Pretty good. Let's do this. Archer is also behind. Let's destroy this, let's destroy this camp right after. Get the money. Okay, so we have, uh, I mean, I'm actually curious what we can do with the money because we have so much money, but we can't, we don't have any buildings to make more units from, you know what I'm saying? Middle Earth depends on us. Middle Earth depends on us. Come on. Go. Come on. Okay, let's move to the left. Um, I get kind of signal here around the bottom. I mean, I'm assuming we need to go to this side because you can see the minimap, right? We get a signal, like a red signal on the minimap. 
that we have to do something around this area. Or is it... No, I actually not, right? No, actually not. So there is nothing to kill. So we can actually move now to the left side. Okay, so we have really unique units here. Don't the arches and yeah. Um, what this is all about, by the way, is like they make an entire movie campaign. And this one is based on the Fellowship of the Ring, okay? And soon they want to release also the two towers. And before this happens, I wanted to play this one. This way we don't have to start with the second movie. We can actually do the first and then once they release the second one, we can do that as well. Okay? That's the plan. I was playing that many, many months ago for the first time. It was so fun, but I was not recording this one. That's why I wanted to play that one more time. Okay, Elrond. Hold ground stands to make him tankier. Archers are level 5 now, one of them at least. Level 4. I like the animations from... Oh, 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 oh. Corsars, I believe. I see fire. They're hitting our units. We have to peel back. Kill these units now, please. Turn against them and kill them. Archers, they are glass cannon units, so we need to be careful that they don't... They are not the one unit which are tanking the damage. Okay. This is the plan. We killed them all. Pretty good, pretty good. Now we can keep moving. I don't know if this is the right pathway, though. But we will find out anyway, right? So we have over two... No, that's not the right pathway. Okay, we found out. <laughs> okay. We need to move, I think, to this side. I don't know where we have to go. Maybe this pathway? Let's try. And there is this little signal on the map at the bottom right side, but I'm not I'm not sure what it is what this is all about, you know. Because there is nothing actually to kill or to destroy. We must be quick. We must be quick. Come on. Come on. We must be quick. Okay, I got you. We are quick. Oh, we need to go to this. Oh never mind. We got, we need to destroy this outpost here. Okay, I got you. And Isildo, as the king, is leading the armies to victory. Oh, oh, we have also units here. Let's switch them to roll crown stands. They're gonna become tankier. And the, our units, they need to join for the reinforcement. Now we have enough power points. I'm assuming we're gonna pick up the heal first for the sustain. Just in case something goes super wrong and we have to, you know, keep our heroes protected. Level 4 for the king of Gondor. Level 3 for the lord of Rivendell. Elrond, also known as Agent Smith. From Matrix. Let's use this. It's like a charge attack. I, yeah, it's gonna be a charge attack. We will destroy this outpost right after. Destroy them all. Uh, do we have... Uh, we have this one, actually. What is this? I think that's called... Lefio uh, Ephelin. Like an arrow volley. There we go. Get the money from the ground. There we go. Beautiful. We are in a good spot right now. Let's not... Let's make sure to not lose many units here. Come on, soldier, move it. They have the voice of the Gondor soldiers, by the way, but they are actually Dunedain soldiers. Rescue, okay. We must wipe out the last enemy camp. We must wipe out the last enemy camp. We got you. All right, we're gonna do that. We see our tech throw level five. We are able now to build something, I think, around this side. I would like to build a well. We're gonna be, uh, we're gonna make a Noldo tent and also Dunedain tent. They are not able to make any resource buildings here, by the way. Can we rebuy this outpost also? No, right? That's not possible. We're gonna wait for the units to arrive. We have actually no command points available. So we are not even able to make any units. So let's sustain over time. And just in case something goes super wrong, we can actually... Level 8 already, by the way, for Isildur. Level 4 for Elrond. Our archer is behind. And our... Um, those are swordsmen. These are archers. We have only one archer. Yeah, we have only one archer from each race. Lindens and also Dunedines. Let's destroy this one. We are able to recover our time. Let's get the money as well from the ground. And actually, let's move forward. I mean, we are getting attacked anyway. So we need to defend ourselves. Okay. Hold ground stands once again with the front line. This way, they can absorb much more damage. And from this tent, we are able to recruit Dunedine soldiers or Dunedine archers. And from this one... Either Lindon Warriors or Linden Spearmen. Linden Warriors are pretty much these units. They are also able to fight with sword. That's the thing. Okay. Nice. I mean, we are not able to recruit any units right now because we are command points capped. But we have money. If we lose units, we can revive them or recruit them once again. Uh, what? Let's group first. Maybe if I think about it, we should be going for the Rallying Horn to make our units stronger, you know? 
because Rallying Horn is able to stack with the leadership from either Isildur or Elrond, since leadership is something different than the buff you get. Buffs and leaderships are able to stack with each other. Okay, so let's kill this unit first in the front line, those orcs. Archers are destroying them actually in seconds. We have both of them level 5. That's the maximum level you can get in BFME to the Rise of the Witch King. And this is a mod for Rise of the Witch King, which has the same balance pretty much. Or the same things. Uh, let's kill these units right after. Middle Earth depends on us. Middle Earth depends on us. Okay. Uh, what do you guys think about Age of the Ring mod? And what do you guys think about the campaign? I, I like the campaign a lot. Oh, I hear a Nazgul. Oh, they are flanking us. Be careful with the archers to not be the one who are tanking the damage. Let's use Hold Ground Stance here. Let's use this myth, uh, you know, what's called Lefiophelin. Oh, oh, be careful. Boom, arrow volley. There we go. Be careful with the archers. I, they can't move though. Please move. Okay, you draw the sword and you fight them and you can't move like this and it's fine. Just fight them. We have heal. So we can, in a situation like this, just use heal in a big area like this. Wait for the units to arrive. Then we go for a massive field just like that. Okay. The heal has much larger radius in uh, Rise of the Witch King than it has in BFME 1. But it doesn't heal that much. Unlike in BFME 1. So keep that in mind. But during all this time, we are actually getting attacked from this side as well. That's very unfortunate because we are losing all the tents now. Very bad. I hope we're not going to lose the game if we lose the last tent. We have one more. We need to kill these units first. We have still some money, but we have only money we were able to collect from the treasure, you know? We are not getting any money over time. That means the money is not going to be increased any soon. Uh, wait a second. They can again use the bow. Because they are in a safe spot now. Let's kill all these units first. I, he I see Nazgûls. Our heroes, they need to take care of these Nazgûls. One by one, Elrond and Isildur. And actually, we are killing them quite fast. No big deal. But again, flank. Flank, 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 flank. Nazgûls scream. Making them run into different directions. We gotta be careful. We lost all the tents, by the way. Okay. Always position with your arches so you, you can shoot without being damaged too much. They're attacking us now, right now. We can use the whole ground stance in a situation like this to make them tank here. Okay, so let's... You know what we're gonna do now? We have to build another well and heal up a little bit over time. Actually not. Let's not waste time. Let's not hesitate, right? Let's just go and try our best to make it happen. Do we have this thing up again? Almost up. And more units are coming all the time. So left here, fill in. Let's use this one more time. Can we use it here too? No, it doesn't work. It has like a range. You can't extend this range. What are you doing, guys? Please. They're going for a flank. Level 10 Isildur, level 9 Elrond. Very strong. Okay, let's move. Now we can maybe use it. There we go. Let's use it. Lefio, fill in. Didn't one-shot them, but they are very low. Middle Earth depends on us. Let's peel back with the archers. Let's lead with the swordmen first. And with the archers, we gotta try to kill these trolls. But let's go slow, actually. Or this troll. There is only one troll, and those units are badly damaged. They are one hit away from getting killed. It's orc warriors. There is uh, orc barracks, and this one is also orc barracks. Okay. Alright, let's kill this. You kill. You Heroes, are you killing this one, please? Oh my goodness. I don't want to use the shards of Narsil for the one one uh, Olag High. He's dying quite fast. Uh, we have almost healed back up, so we're going to be in a safe spot. Let's use Hold Crown Stance with these units to make them tank here once again. This way they are able to absorb more damage. we got to be careful with our hero. We have no Atelas available from the seal during this one. But heal is almost back up. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna group with all of, of... Did I already use it accidentally? I already used it accidentally. I didn't want to use it though. But I forget. That's one of the differences between BFME 1 and the other BFME games. In BFME 1, you select with left click and you activate with right click. In BFME 2 and Rise of the Witch King, you activate with left click. And that's gonna be kinda 
If you are playing BFME 1 for many many years like I do, you will get a hard time to get used to it fast enough, you know? Okay, destroying the building, there we go, beautiful. We, have st we are still command points cap. we are still not able to make any more units. But we have all the units almost max rank. Level 5 is the max rank. And only one of them I believe is level 4. All the others are level 5, it's gone just like that, beautiful. We destroyed the outpost boys. Get the money from the ground. Nice, so. Oh, we are getting more reinforcements now. I like that. Look at the last alliance. Who is this? This is Elendil himself, chat. This is unbelievable. Elendil himself. The king of... I mean, in this case, this is a prince, you know? And we have also Gilgalad. This is also the, the, the king of elves. Look at them. Oh my goodness, but they are moving now. Protect the kings. Um, Holy moly. Oh, that's a massive fight. Where is Elrond? Uh, not Elrond, I mean Elrond is here of course, but this is Elendil. Gligalad. His lens was keen. Knocks down and pins a target hero. Normal units are knocked. Okay, we gotta use it against Sauron, I believe. But where is Sauron when we need them? I'm not sure. Uh, they are moving now for a flank. If a well here, we can go even for a secondary well. Just like that. This way we are able to heal up faster. Let's give them all aggressive stance, those elven warriors and also this archers from Dunedain. Look how many orcs are coming, that's unbelievable. All of Mordor is emptying towards us. This was just the start. We need to keep moving, man. Alright, we, we need to keep moving, man. Alright, alright, I got you. We have now four heroes. Level 10, level 10, level 9, level 10. Gigalad. When I click on him, I see Banakiri. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's move against all Mordor. So I gotta keep an eye on Gilgalad because he has the cripple ability, right? Knocks down and pins a target hero. I'm, I'm. What is this? What is this? Oh my goodness! He almost killed all my stuff. Isildur is very important to keep him alive. So let's peel back with the heroes a little bit. Let the units go go forward first. But magma and flaming shots are happening. You see a cinematic effect at the bottom left side. But it looks great for the man and elves. You know what's who's gonna come in this case, right? You already know who's gonna come, guys. Look at the cinematics at the bottom left side at the minimap. More Mordor is coming now. The last alliance of men and elves at the Black Gate. If kill available in the worst case, I'm not worried about this situation that much. We can use now... Uh, I like to call this... Yeah, let you uh, fall in! Okay, drama trolls and everybody. We have a lot of archers in the behind, that's pretty good. So we have a lot of damage output. Bronze line is also looking pretty solid. We are getting more and more units on the field. Tra attack trolls too, are you kidding me? Let's give these units level um, number 2. And you gotta kill the attack trolls as fast as possible. Level 5. Every single one of them. Should have waited with this ability though. But it is how it is. Can we use anything of these? I King of, Dun of the Dunedain, yeah. Kill the trolls, archers, please. Kill the trolls, archers, please. We Elen deal with the Anduril sword in his hands. Orcs are attacking the base. I'm fine with that. I don't mind that. Kill him! Kill him! Middle Earth depends on us. Throw your weapons. Okay, one of the trolls has been taken down. Two of them has been taken down. It's lagging. It's look how many units are on the field. That's unbelievable. Kill the last troll. With the archers. Level 10 now, everybody, every hero of us. We have Isildur, uh, El Elendil, Elrond, and also Gilgalads, level 10. If heal, we are not getting any more power points from killing stuff. Okay. Do we have now leave you a feline again? No, we don't have it. We are gonna lose this. We are gonna lose this camp. I don't know if this is gonna make us lose the game though. I'm not sure. I hope not. It would be horrible if this is gonna be the case. The lag is not being caused because of my PC or of my graphic card or whatsoever. Just a lot of a lot of stuff is happening, and this has this game has a really old engine. 
so it's not able to survive. I mean, uh, we need to be careful about LND, all the heroes, they need to survive this one. Just, you know, use them in the whole ground stand in a situation like this. This way they don't gonna automatically attack, they're gonna stand still. And the units are gonna deal damage over time. Oh, if you're level in here would be amazing. Look at this clamp from the enemy units. We are losing stuff. I'm, I mean, I'm actually curious if you're gonna lose the game because of losing this well. I hope not. No, we are still in the game. We are still in the game. That's good. That's good. But he's looking for a flank. He's looking for a flank. G Gilgalad has to cripple Sauron down the second he comes. I don't know when he's gonna come. What is the mission we have? Protect the camps and move up with the slopes of Oradrin. Okay. We couldn't protect the camps, of course. Because we have no units there to protect and keep them alive and protect it. Alvin Warriors. We are still in a good standing. We have a lot of units. Elendil is looking badass to me. Look him. Look him, guys. He's looking very, very strong and solid. Lafia Ephelin is still on cooldown, too. If heal up. So, in the worst case, we can use it. But I would not like to use it right now. Our units are able to deal with these units as they are coming from the, from the flank. But it's not a big deal. We are pushing Mordor back. We must win. None can face Sauron's wrath if we fail. Thank you for the follow on the Twitch channel, by the way. Appreciate that so much. It means a lot to me. Okay. Uh, what is now? What's happening? Let me check. Um, push through towards Sauron's final stronghold. In this case, we need to move to this side, okay? Okay, let's do this. Don't split. Kill this units first. Let's group here now for now. When you hold your left click and right click group like this, then you can make like a formation, as you can see. By dragging your mouse, either forward or back, you can make a battle formation. Which is something I like this in BFME 2 and Rise of the Witch King. It doesn't exist in BFME 1, in BFME 1 like this, unfortunately. But are the arches? Arches behind automatically. Do you see that? That's very good. Our heroes are full HP and that's the Black Gate, ladies and gentlemen. Mordor gate. And we are going inside the gate. We are going inside Mordor. The Mount Doom. Where is Mount Doom actually? Yeah, probably around the area, something like this. Okay. Let's go for the final fight. We see Nazgûls, we see darkness. They are glowing, shining bright like a diamond. Alright. We gotta kill these Nazgûls with our heroes. Uh, with, our, with our archers, I mean. As soon as possible, kill them first. Oh, the, the shots though. Kill the, arch, uh, kill the Nazgul first because they are the biggest threat. They are the heroes, of course. They are dealing way more damage than anything else. I don't see a. We need to kill this troll. Kill this troll. It's available now. Let's use it. Lefio Ephelin. Let's use it. Kill this troll. Troll is down. That's good. Is he getting more trolls on the field? How much damage it's gonna deal? Decent, decent amount of damage, not a lot, but we gotta, we gotta be careful with the heroes. Heal back, 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 heal back. Let's not lose them. Okay, let's peel back. Let's switch them to roll crowns that stands this way, they're not gonna automatically attack. Gil Galad is being targeted from the enemy uh, units. But the power of the ring could not be undone. But the power of the ring could not be undone. He's SpongeBob. He's also excited. Let's go, Sauron. He's coming. He's coming. He's gonna kill our Elrond. I mean, not Elrond. Uh, Elendi. Look him. Look the ring. Look at him. Oh, he's making shenanigans. No, Elendi. Elendi is gone to the shadow. We also lost Gilgalad. Really. Look at the movie cinematics at the bottom left side in the minimap. Where is he? I can't see him. I cannot see him. There is a lot of stuff happening right now and I don't know where, where they are. Where he is, I mean. I see him now. It's like he's a big one. He's a big guy. It's not like you cannot not see him, you know? Look, he's killing everything. 
Go, Isildur, it's your time to shine bright like a diamond. Pick up the shard of your father's sword. Revenge him. He's going in. He's going in. Lu use it. Uh oh you gotta kill him but I don't I don't know if we have still this available because he's knocking us back on the ground all the time look how many units are still coming that's unbelievable We are not dealing we are dealing damage to him now, okay? But we are also very low. Be careful. Go back, go back, go back, go back. We can't lose him. We can't lose him. We have to heal up a little bit over time. Holy moly. You the heroes they need to survive. It's very important. Our entire front line has been taken down. Focusing down Sau Sauron with this unit is just pointless. No, 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 no. He's chasing our uh, Isil, dude. Elrond, you attack him first. They are not dealing damage to him. Dodge. Oh my goodness. He's still alive. Elron is gonna be the one who's killing him. <laughs> Elron is gonna be the one who's killing him. <laughs> so it was not like in the films. Elron was the one who destroyed him. And we are victorious, guys. We are victorious. Victorious. I mean, this is copyrighted, so I can't use, I can't show this one right now. This is copyrighted stuff what they are using. But we're gonna keep playing this campaign, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like on this video. It really helps out a lot for the YouTube algorithm. I see you next time. Until then, take care of yourselves, and as always, stay beyond standards. Peace.